Welcome to this video. This is a self maintenance of your treadmill. Uh, previously had gone over how to tighten the belts based on the particular uh, tool that you need in the back. Now, as far as maintenance from a uh, lubrication standpoint, you do need to make sure that every 90 hours of use that you're checking your belt for proper lubrication. Uh, there's only an approved type of treadmill lube that you want to use for it. That way it ensures that the belt is moving um, consistently and also smoothly. The dry it gets with dirt getting in between sweat everything in between it could damage and shorten the life of your treadmill I do have a pre core 833 uh, TRM 833 from CTX home gyms one thing you want to do first is making sure that you are unplugging the machine once you unplug the machine you want to actually reach and I've actually just lubricated it but the uh, underneath this little lip or this little uh, free you want to make sure that you're getting a rag with the proper treadmill lubricant and pushing it underneath also you want to do the same thing for the other side now as soon as that's done you want to actually turn on the treadmill and put it on for four uh, excuse me 0 0.5 or the lowest speed setting so you can see here typically it starts off at 1.0 I can actually bring that down to 0 0.5 by putting it to 0 0.5, now you've given the lubrication a chance. You can see a little bit of the leftover. The lubrication a chance to now move throughout. Now, once you've done this for about a minute, then you want to now step on the machine itself. That way, anything that is uh, overlapped, maybe too much uh, lubrication on either one side, is going to hopefully spread across as you step on it. So I'm actually going to step on it now to kind of show you. And you just want to walk all around your treadmill, making sure that any kind of lubrication that you put in there is either spread out or it's getting to places that maybe can't be reached because the belt is very tight. There is an ability to loosen the belt if you'd like. That's a little bit of an additional time. I would recommend taking off each additional plate. As you can see that there are screws on the top plastic pieces. Those all need to be taken off if you want to loosen the belt. But this is a simplistic way, easy way, quick three minute video about how to lubricate it. Again, every 90 hours, you wanna make sure that you're lifting up the lip of each side of the treadmill belt, placing your treadmill approved lubricant, which I'll put a, um, a photo uh, in the very beginning. Uh, no particular brand, you can get it on Amazon, um, but placing that every 90 hours is gonna ensure the life of your treadmill is gonna last a little bit longer. And as I hit the stop button here, there we go. Every 90 hours you want to do that, keep it maintained, keep it uh, tight, and then on future videos we'll talk about some other maintenance items. Hope this helps.